In 2017, uh, I awakened in December from a dream. Now, uh, when I awakened from this dream, there was an angel standing in the room where I seek the Lord. And this angel was a tangible, incredible being. And he was peering out into the future. And that's, I have to share this to show you something that has transpired in the last several months. He was peering out into the future, and I, because I know the world, and I know nations, and I know their positioning throughout the earth, uh, he was looking at the nations. The earth was like a flat plain, and all of a sudden, these crystal wheat stalks would start coming up from a certain nation. In our nation, it would come up in certain states. They would come up in certain states. And these crystal stalks uh, were like fire stalks, diamond fire stalks. I don't know how else to describe them. And I asked, I finally had enough courage to ask this being who he was. And he said, I am the angel of war over the Lord's harvest for the future. And then he began to download to me the training that we would start going through the next seven years. We're still in that training, but we've made headway. And uh, I always check to see if we're making headway. We've, I, I usually check every Feast of Tabernacles because one of the signs on Feast of Tabernacles is rain comes down. And uh, I, I watch how that pattern goes across lands. And so that became a very defining moment in my life. In February, uh, in September of 2019 at Rosh Hashanah, we shifted into a new historical era. We are no longer in the same history realm that we have lived in. Now that's very important for you to hear that statement because the era shifted. Era is a historical shift that occurs. Now, this nation has great history about it. And we've got great sorrow about this nation. But, we shifted into a new era. We are no longer in the past that was known as America. Now that's very important for you to process that. Because this meeting is not about the same America we've always known. It's at a different place. And I haven't shared this this year. This is new, and I knew where I was to share it. I knew where I was to share it because in 2008, when God caught me up, there were two states hanging in the balance, California and Florida. Why it was so important to war for the state of Florida was in the middle of the state of Florida, it looked like a black snake. Now, I went to Florida the year uh, before we got into COVID, probably, 
I think altogether it was 18 times because it was that important for Florida to not hang in the balance in the future. Because if this black road that looked like a black cobra was not neutralized, it would end up in Atlanta. And it would end up in Atlanta and form a government that would affect the future of our children and our children's children. Therefore, the war really was over Atlanta and the future of a nation. And that's why we're here. And with that, I began to process what I had seen up to that point. Now, remember, I've written three books that take us to 2026. Well, you know, when God gave me all that revelation, it was, eight, it was uh, 1986. 2026 is not far off any longer. I mean, we would have people leave the church because they said, well, we're supposed to get raptured this year. They thought we were going to get raptured in 2008. And I said, well, you might get raptured, but I know I'm here to 2026. And they had several look at me and say, I have no doubt that you'll be here. So I knew that wasn't going to happen. We still, you can just settle down for a little while. We are not getting raptured these next four years, other than we should live in rapture. Now, now that brings me to this year. This year, when I, and I knew I could not just jump back and start doing what I used to do. I knew it in 2007. I knew it in 2020. This year, I asked the Lord, what can I do? Because, you know, I mean, me being at home that much after being gone for 40 years, my life was in danger. (laughs) And, And I could see it in Pam's eyes. My life was in danger. And the Lord spoke to me and said I could go to 10 cities this year. And he would choose the city based upon the necessity of the shift of a nation. Now, I, I, I felt like I had to share that so we understand why we're here. I, I have been to some incredible appointments this year. One in Kansas. We have our, our two of our leaders here from South Carolina. And uh, Susie Ziegler, you and Ann Romanella, you, st- you stand up. Let's welcome them here from South Carolina. One of the most dramatic shifting meetings that we had was in Charleston, South Carolina. And we watched the Lord do that meeting and put us at the Citadel, the oldest war college in America. They had never allowed an outside group to come in and have a public meeting like this. It was divine favor, divine assignment, uh, and was to address the division of a nation because that's where the sound of division came forth, the first shot 
of the Civil War. So that became very important. One of the most important meetings I have been in for this nation that we're in today. I knew that the city that had one of the darkest wounds was Atlanta. And I knew that at the right moment, God would assign us to gather here. And he would assign who would gather here. And really, the issue is not about the political elections that are ahead, but about the division of a nation that we're on the verge of seeing. It is at its most critical place of division. And Atlanta becomes one of the places God has chosen to shift a nation back toward wholeness. Let's thank God for what he's going to do here in Atlanta area. <laughs>